this is the first day of 2023 and this happened again whatsapp keep crashing so the ceo here says keep your phone on whatsapp business is crashing frequently so you see here when i press open it will just close it will say whatsapp business keep stopping and no matter what i do it doesn't happen so earlier on this morning at 2 30 a.m i actually recorded a video screenshot but it's very long uh, this time it happened again so i might as well take this chance to uh, do a more concise video recording hopefully this helps more people so you see when i try to open it's always hang i can't even do anything else like to reach to the backup button or try to do anything but if you want to recover your messages without any losses you must follow these steps exactly so currently i'm using a samsung note 20 it happens on any kind of phone so far i've heard of iphone whatsapp uh, personal whatsapp business all happens so uh, no one actually knows uh, what's happening uh, googling doesn't help and this is the only way that i found that works so right now when i pressed open whatsapp you can see that it's closing the issue that i think is happening is that there's a uh, code error from whatsapp itself so when it, it's open and it try to uh, get in information from the whatsapp server it will just crash the system so first step what you do is you put to flight mode first so see after you put to flight mode it can no longer receive any uh, message from the server which means the code is stopped so let's see this time when you press the whatsapp you can see that it's still there but uh, you no longer get uh, false close next mm -hmm. is to take the uh, time to go and back up a local copy now because you cannot mm -hmm. back up into the clouds so after you press the top right hand corner you see this there's a mm -hmm. setting mm -hmm. then you press settings and go in to chat so you see here's the chat once you are in go to chat backup at the bottom and try to make it slower so you can catch the steps so after you're done you see that it says local 238 this is what happened last night when it hanged so now i'm going to just back up now when i click on backup it's going to take some time and i'm going to save some time uh, for you mm -hmm. waiting i'm going to pause this video first once it reached to 100 percent i'll unpause this video so it will be a quick jump so to continue while waiting i'm going to add in more information that i know of so when this crash happens it doesn't auto backup to google clouds anymore so you can say that uh you can only make use of the local backup before you can get it to work so now you see it says connect your phone to the wi-fi to backup to google drive but when you do connect to wi-fi it will just hang so this option to backup to cloud is out you can only retrieve it from your personal handphone um, so i'm going to guide you on how to actually preserve this so we won't uh, lose anything after i press ok so now there's actually a copy that is being saved onto your phone now so to, to find it right i'm going to just guide you through i'm using the default my files but if you are actually using any sort of uh, file explorer it should work as well so if you press in my files so what i do is i can actually have this search feature on the top right hand corner you'll see that i have this search when i press in this is what i'm going to do i'm make it simple um okay, where's the words ah, okay it's on the top right hand corner so i just have to type in whatsapp and see if i can find it okay you'll see over here there's a com.whatsapp.w4b so uh there's actually two different kinds of link one is for personal whatsapp and one for uh whatsapp business so what i'm currently using is uh it's a whatsapp business so the links are a bit different so this is the simplest way to actually find it by doing a search i don't know press in then you'll be able to see this whatsapp business there's actually this whole link you see internal storage android media and before i lead to this com whatsapp dot web thing so when i go in you see that this back there's backup database and media so the safe file uh, is actually in this file called database it's not under this file called uh, backup so don't be confused i know it's takes some time to digest this just remember go to database so what is going to happen is you go in you see the dates so you see this file is actually what uh is being restored last uh well, not last night it's this morning actually so this is the file you see 1 gen 824 so that, now time now is 826 so this one is the file that we want so what we do is we make a copy of this first select go to copy 
So for my uh, this software copy is on the bottom left hand corner. If not, you can always press and hold and see if there's other option. Go to more on the bottom right. You see this? Oh, there's no. Okay, so uh, just try to find the word copy. So after you are done copying, you go to the file that is the easiest uh, for you to find. So for me, I just put it into the internal storage right outside here. So these three files is actually files that is backed up last night. Uh, I'm not... Okay, I'm going to just pause first. I'm going to do a backup on this just in case. Okay, to continue. So this is what you are supposed to be seeing. There should be uh, no such files. Uh, just now, uh, it happened because I actually did this method last night. So once I'm actually here, um, then I try to do a paste. I realize the option is gone, so I'm going to just repeat the steps again. So I'm going to go back to here, search for WhatsApp, WhatsApp. So go back to here, go to WhatsApp business, go to databases. Then I'm going to just save the file that is last save, which is this one. I'm going to press copy on the bottom left corner and I'm going to go back right outside. Do remember this path exactly. Uh, later we need to copy and paste it back exactly this pathway. So when I'm at this internal storage, I'm going to press copy here. So make sure that you actually have a copy here now. And now I'm going to go back to uh, this. And I'm going to proceed with uninstalling. So I'm going to just go back to flight mode. Now it's no longer in flight mode and you'll see that it will keep hanging and auto exiting again. Close app. So what I do is now I go to play store. I'm going to look for WhatsApp business. And I'm going to press this button now. Uninstall on the left hand corner. So when I press uninstall, let's see if there's any options. Sometimes you'll ask whether you want to keep your data. You choose that option. If it doesn't, but at least you already have that uh, safe in your handphone. Next, you try to install this again. So once WhatsApp is installed, you don't press open. What you do first is you go back to the... Um, documents uh, ex file explorer my files and you try to search back the same folder you notice that it's missing now so just now i last type whatsapp so when i press whatsapp you see that there's actually the folder is right below when i press in there's actually nothing left so what i do this time is i create the folder okay accidentally pressed let me just go back again and find that WhatsApp folder again after I go in so this is what I'll do I'll just press and hold hmm. okay so I'll change our steps I'm going to let it try to create the WhatsApp folder again so what I do is I go back to this right after this step press open and I press agree and continue, allow, and I'm going to just press in my handphone number. And the password, I'm going to uh, uh, pause it, make sure you don't show this out to anyone. Okay, so press continue, allow, allow. So it says looking for backup now. So now the backup is showing, you see that it's 30th December, which is uh, two days ago. So if you see the date now, it's actually 1 Jan, but the online backup is dated back. So you do not press on restore or the skip. If you do press the skip, it's going to totally miss this out. And if you press restore, you're going to get old 
messages instead of the latest messages that you have backed up early on. So what you do is you quit this one instead. So just press the bottom left uh, hand corner and go back to this WhatsApp and just swipe it up. So when you do this swipe, it's going to close it. Next, you go back to this file explorer and this time the WhatsApp uh, link should be created. Let's see if uh, I'm correct. So I'm going to press the WhatsApp. So I'm going to go back to the file. Bottom left hand corner. Yeah, okay, this one com.whatsapp.w4b. So you see WhatsApp business is now created. We go in, you notice that the file called databases is missing. So you need to recreate this now, create folder, and type in data basis create already so now that this is created you go back to the earliest internal storage and remember the file that you actually copy earlier on now this is what you do you copy and paste it back select the file press on copy and go back to the whatsapp a short way is to search press on whatsapp and search back that link which is on the last page com.whatsapp go in again and go to databases and paste it here copy here so once this is copied let's go back to whatsapp so now go to play store press on open and let's see if it search for a local backup this time i got a feeling it doesn't so if you encounter this make sure you close it first and put to flight mode and see whether it works okay so this time it works you see it says backup file 12 minutes ago and this is the file that's going to be restored from earlier on because I actually copy and paste it in so when you see it says 12 minutes ago this is the correct one and I'm going to press on restore so this will take some time um, maybe about three minutes I'm going to just pause it to save you time okay so it successfully uh, backed up it says 1.2 million messages restored I'm guessing if it's happening to people with phones that have a lot of messages but this is just my guess for now um, because I realize a lot of my other business contacts they also mention they have this issue but my um, other friends uh, who doesn't have as much messages it's not happening to them okay so this is done uh, another side note do make sure you actually have this battery charged properly because if not it, when it's uh, backing up halfway through it may cause an issue okay so once it's done i'm going to just press next finish restoring your media will restore in the background when it's connected to the wi-fi oh i just press restore i'm going to just connect to the wi-fi now and i'm going to just press restore now so the only thing that's missing luckily is just the business name which i can easily put it back it has many other information Notice that under the professional service, oh, it's also gone. Okay, just ignore this for now to save you some time. I thought back then it's, ah yeah, at least this is not missing uh, all the details that I've mentioned uh, earlier on. So update uh, address, I'll just press don't update. Okay, so once that's done, I'm going to just press get mobile store if I'm not now. And I'm going to go back to selecting sec select backup daily and to end encryption backup. Okay, that's done. Okay, so this is done. I'm going to go back to chat. So notice that all the other messages are still there. And whatever message that is received earlier on, uh, or you sent it before the crash is not going to appear so it will only have this waiting for this message this may take a while it's actually taking a lifetime it's going to be forever so uh, at least you get most of the messages back so yes the way you're going to do the backup hope this helps someone and if it uh, did help you do help to share with others uh, this is for the android system for now i don't have an iphone with me to help but i think it should be about the same but you just have to find the directory that the safe whatsapp database is that okay happy new year and hope you have less headache with this tutorial